All right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to conduct some research using the online periodicals and journals that are available through the school library site. So the first thing you need to do is to log into the byod.peelschools.org page, and you are going to land on sort of you have the home page that looks like this, and the library access is down here towards the bottom uh, right of your screen. We're going to click on here, and it's going to take us over to the uh, school library page and we need to be remember that we need to be accessing the resources that are for intermediate and secondary students so I'm going to click on this and open it up and these are all of the journals that are available to us through our school library system perhaps the two most important chicklets on this page are these two here one is the Gale power search and the other is Explora uh, and these are search engines that allow you to search through all of the different resources that are here in one spot instead of going into each of these individually. All right, so I'm going to click on the Gale Power Search. It's going to open up a new window. Uh, and from here, right, I'm going to go to my, the cross search option and I'm going to start my search. Now the thing to remember here is that you need to have effective keywords in order to help focus the findings um, within the database because otherwise you could easily become overwhelmed. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to do a search on identity, okay, I'm going to type my search word in and as you can see, in the academic journals, there are almost 700,000 resources, which is a tremendous amount. And there's no way that we're going to be able to go through all of those and assess whether or not they are all relevant. So having a series of keywords that you can string together will help to narrow the search. So perhaps you are interested in the idea of inter um, identity formation. I'm going to add that word in to my search and you now you're going to notice that there are only 15,000 articles and resources that are available I am making it a lot um, a lot more focused but at the same time that is also very very broad there's a lot of resources so I'm going to continue to add um, uh, words so perhaps I'm going to be taking a look at um, theories around black identity formation uh, and I'm going to continue to add in, right? So now I'm down to 203, which makes this a lot more manageable, right? Perhaps you also wanted to take a, a look at a black feminist perspective, right? And I can add that in, right? And now, right, I've added so many uh, keywords in that I'm getting a very, very limited um, search result, right? So I can go back in. I'm going to remove that last word and Right, now I'm on a spot that's a little bit more manageable. Right? So there's different types of resources that you can be accessing here. One are magazines, academic journals, books, and news articles. Right? And we want to be taking a look for um, entries that contain full text. Right? So that means that you can access the entire article. So if I come over to ac academic journals, all right, I'm going to go through, and one of the things that I'm actually going to kind of keep an eye on here is the word count. All right? Typically, if the word count is a, a little bit higher, then that is going to uh, indicate that there, you know, it's more of an article as opposed to a summary of something else. Right? The other thing to keep in mind is that often within uh, academic journals, there are reviews of various books. Right? So here, there's a thousand words, but I'm also seeing the information for a book. Right? And this here, it says book review. Right? And then here I see article. Right? So taking a look at the articles can also be extremely beneficial. When I click on one of these articles, I'm going to click on this one here. I come in. I have the full article available to me to read and to go through. All right, and I'm able to do a variety of different actions with this. I can download it so I can mark it up. I can print it so I can mark it up. I can email it to myself. All right, add it to my uh, Google Drive. All right, there's a lot of um, options for you. Hey, as well as down at the very bottom, we have the citation information already generated so that you just have to copy and paste this into your tracking sheet that you're using. 
Okay, within uh, the Gale system, you also have access to a variety of citation formats, MLA, APA, and the Chicago, and you can change those simply just by clicking on the links here. Okay, so if I come back to my, my search, right, I can very quickly go through and make sure that I have a good variety of texts that I have access to, I, and I know, most importantly, that these are reliable texts, and that I don't need to be going in and doing some extra work in order to make sure that the information is credible. credible. Yeah, credible. Uh, at this point, all right, there, it's, it's fairly easy. You can quickly go through and do all of your research from one space um, in, and, and get, it, get the research done fairly quickly because the, the research is reliable. All right, when, you, um, when you're taking notes, okay, please make sure that you are also thinking about what is a quotation that you're going to use and you're making a note that it is a quote, you're using somebody else's words directly, uh, and then once you get into thinking through the research that you are then transforming those into your own words where appropriate so that you don't end up going through a process of uh, accidentally plagiarizing somebody else's work. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes the process of using the periodicals a little bit easier for you. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, please just make sure that you're asking. Thank you very much. Bye.